rinse this out. Okay, just rinsing with water is not enough. I rinse and some of the bacteria is coming out. Put in some water and I'm going to add some rock salt. It's nice to be over the sink so any little bit of mess doesn't matter. And maybe a tablespoon, maybe a little less, just depends on what you feel. So I'm shaking up the feeder and that Same helps process. to scrub that helps to scrub the inside of it you can see this and sometimes it may have formed up in the upper portion and I'll swirl it and swirling that around helps to remove it as well. Some of the chunks are a little bit bigger. I'll take an extra second, but I can see them moving around in there. There goes rock salt. There goes bacteria down the drain. If there's ever an extra little piece that wants to stay, I use a little pipe cleaner. You can go in and scrub a little edge. You see some? Yeah. There's still a little rock salt. I wait, I rinse until I don't see any more salt residue. It takes a few, but it's clean at that point. You can still see salt here, so that's when you know it still has salt in it. Cool, the room temperature water is the best way to go. Safer for the feeder. Safer for you. see salt so this takes a little bit of time because I put a lot in but it cleans it faster get all that out and when I don't see salt anymore I do rinse one or two more times just to be sure Is that a bubble? Oh, it's a bubble. Maybe one more time. I chose a clear feeder, so it's easier for you to see how it comes out. The color glass cleans just as well. I just like to um, have a light shining behind it from my phone or another way. The phone has a nice flashlight. And that way I can make sure that anything comes out. Everything comes out. Okay.